Alright guys, this isn't one of the normal videos I post on my channel, but sorry if the webcam is in the way of anything during the video. We're going to show you how to make some really cool 3D text, like the stuff you saw in the thumbnail. So, what you first you need to do is pick a font. It works well with thicker fonts, but uh, the, the thinner fonts, they work good too, I guess. So, just type out word 3D. So type out the word you want to use, then click the 3D button, which will convert your Photoshop into a 3D workspace. Then you can resize it to however you want it. The important part of the tutorial is this basic 3D manipulation. All right, now go here, turn the shine all the way up. Do that for each of the first three layers. All right, go back to there, right click, change it to the second one. Now turn cast shadows off. That's personal preference. Um, I, I prefer the shadows off, but so that's what our text looks like so far. Now what you want to do after that is change the color to whatever color you want. I'm a fan of light blue and you can change the intensity of the color. And this will change the side color. So there we go. And turn the intensity up and then down a little bit. So we get sort of a shading effect. And then our last layer, which is the back layer, which should look darker. It's that layer right there than all the other layers. So you can mess with the intensity of that. Liking. Boom. Now for our last step, we're going to go back to layers, click on that, go to gradient overlay. Now turn it to either 20 or 15%, whatever you think looks better, turn the gradient to 20%. Now you're going to want to go to this black and white gradient, put the scale to zero, click OK. Um, actually, you want to go back to it. And then you can move the gradient wherever you want. If you're in the gradient tool, if it's selected in there and you, you can move it, so move it to about the middle or you can put it to the top depending on the color of the text and where it is and whatever. So there we go. And for our last step, this is uh, whether you have time to do it, to be honest, if it makes it look better in the end, right click and click render. So that will start rendering the 3D and it will kind of do some anti-aliasing on it and stuff like that that I'm gonna pause the video because rendering takes a while if you don't have a very good computer like I do so I'll be back in a little bit all right so now it's rendered and it's finished so that's how you make some cool looking 3d text if you want to I would recommend not putting the gradient on it before rendering it that might uh, give you a better end result after rendering it or you don't render it at all and that will look like it before we stop the video but anyway guys, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment down below if it helped, and I'll see you in the next one, peace.